good morning. Formative Wednesday here because I missed Intuitive Tuesday because I was just busy. So anywho, uh, let's go back to what I was talking about. Um, cleansing our homes. And it starts with each of us to take stock of what it is that we're putting in our bodies. We may not be able to control the air outside, right? And when we eat out in restaurants, we just need to do double blessings and uh, work in joy when we're eating out and just take our chances, right? But in our homes is where we have to have accountability and responsibility for what it is we're picking up off the shelves and bringing home whether we're making it from scratch, uh, from ingredients that we're buying out there, whether it's prepackaged, whatever it is, we have to take responsibility to look at all the labels. There's a lot of hidden things and a lot of hidden things. So as many know, as a medical esthetician, I've also done a lot of cosmetic sales in the makeup and fragrance industry. And uh, I had decided many moons ago that I was only going to work for cruelty-free companies and low to no chemical companies. And you know, they're, they're hard to find. They're hard to find because what happens is you have these big fish buying these little fish of natural lines, and then you're not quite sure what's really going on there. You don't have small batches being made by these small companies anymore. So you never know where their claims are or if they're truly occurring. Um, you're pretty much on a hope and a prayer on many things that we purchase. For example, when a product says fragrance down at the bottom, that gives them the right to dump a lot of stuff in there that may have nothing to do with fragrance, okay? And quite frankly, we just really need to take stock of all the fragrance products that we're using in our skincare and the perfumes that we're putting on our bodies, the fragrances we're putting on our bodies, and these body washes that are not antibacterial, antimicrobial like soap is. Um, we've got to look at all the creams that we're using and the, the so-called butters that are in them and the synthetics that are in them because it boils down to having respect for the organ that your skin is. It's your screen door to taking nutrients in and toxicities out. So there really has to be more respect for that. Now in my office here in the DC area, I'm gonna start teaching some courses and maybe at some point I'll be able to video them and get them out there. But when I jumped on here, Spirit was talking about all these additives and things that are going on. They were talking to me about the kitchen and your cleaning supplies. And for some reason, as soon as I sat down, they went straight into skincare products. And of course, that's one of my specialties. So interesting. So anywho, uh, there's no hiding. There's no hiding. Things what is labeled on there is not always what is labeled on there um, and then being held accountable for what are these labels doing because you can get a little bit of toxicity from this product and then you can ingest a little bit of toxicity from this product and then you're out there smelling in a little more toxicity right and then your body is just in havoc mode it is just in this spasm of trying to figure out what the heck is happening. And not only does that stress the body, then you have your, your, your external stressors, your job, conversations, driving, deadlines, um, you know, all those other things that add stress on the body that take the frequency frequency down and then you have the emotional stressors right and so then you've got blame shame guilt which are down there on the deep things and we're feeling bad about something all these little teeny tiny feelings also have frequency so we can control a lot of things and it's time to take responsibility and accountability 
to start with your own roof. This roof and the roof over your head and the loved ones that live in it. And just begin by just throwing out things that are just not going to cut it for your family. Even if they love it and it's one of their favorites and you have a whole freaking bag of it in the freezer, if it doesn't have what you need on it and in it, you've got to get rid of it. All right. Um, maybe start learning how to cook a little bit more from scratch and buying more high quality products that you're putting in there. And then I can promise you, you'll probably start eating less of it because you're going to start feeling really good. And a lot of these cravings and irritability or emotional driving to the pantry and the kitchen, along with these cleaning supplies that we use, we need to be really conscientious. You know, you've got all these people out there making homemade products now and maybe pay attention to some of them. And then really read the labels on even the ones that you think you're trusting. They may not be antibacterial, antimicrobial, and they may have a lot of synthetic fragrances in them. All right. Uh, vinegar and water is a great thing to just cut grease and clean your, your mirrors and your bathroom and your shower doors and and things like that. So, I mean, you know, it just takes time. And when you do, you'll be getting to the habit of it because you're going to start feeling better. Your energy levels will feel better when you are beginning to go back to a homeostasis program of balancing internal and external within your home domain. And then your taste buds will have more of um, an alertness to it. So they'll be able to say, oh, I can taste something in there. I am not digging or that's too sweet or that's too salty. Um, and uh, so you'll you'll be able to give more life to deadened sensories, things that have been dimmed down, dumbed down, so that they can't tell the difference anymore um, of anything. And so that's where we have to take the confusion, skim off all this stuff from the top, and refuse to buy these products and line the pockets of others who are owning different product lines and they're just putting just enough of this little something something in there to save money but it's poisonous to you and then they own this company over here or they have stock in this company over here and they're putting just a little something something in there and I was just reading this morning about being aware of the wrappers in which some of these products are um being packaged in okay so we already know that plastics can leach things from the outside to it so it creates damage inside and there's certain product lines that really cannot be sun retardant right and even if they're in glass bottles darker glass bottles and they're set anywhere where there's heat or rays of the sun or things like fluorescent lights it's going to damage what's inside. It's going to taint and retard what's inside. So it doesn't have that um, intentional wholesomeness that it was packaged to be where it was coming to your home. I also will suggest to you, when you order things, I don't care what it is, when it comes to your doorstep, that you take a moment to place your hands on the package and just bless all the delivery that it got to you and then to dismiss and put into holy fire and release what does not serve you within this package. Also, taking the time as you're preparing things that you're energetically infusing every droplet that's going into whatever it is that you're putting together in your kitchen or your cleaning or whatever it is that you're doing. Get away from even some of these fragrance-free laundry detergents. Get rid of the plastic containers that they're in. There's a lot of alternatives out there. It may cost you a little bit more in the forefront, but it will save you so much on the backside mentally, physically, emotionally, etherically, 
financially. Start looking at your houses and where you want to invest. And you can never go wrong with investing in your health. Investing in your health and clearing off your shelves and starting from scratch. Don't get into too much of this detoxing and over cleansing. Be conscientious of what you're doing there. But you can start with your own cabinets, your own pantry, your own refrigerators. And just start looking at what it is that you're taking in and learn how to have some counterbalancing measures, okay? And by all means, it really starts with a heart-centered infusion of joy and love into everything that you're doing and your intention and your attention and let your energy flow to transform the composition of whatever it is that you're eating, using, or doing, okay? And then really believing that your energetics have the power. Your God source frequency has the power to counterbalance, okay? If you need any assistance on this journey, I want you to go to embodimentofthesoul.com. Book an hour with me. Let's go over some things that I can help you infuse yourself and, and all the things that you're doing, your plants, your loved ones, your pets, things in your home, how to kinesthetically just really take a better and closer look so that you can be the best loving living column of light that you are intended to be. Own that. Own it. All right? Yeah. So please hit like, subscribe, and share this video so other people know that there's people like me out here working on behalf of your best interest, on behalf of my best interest, because the healthier and happier I can be, the healthier and happier I can share with others. Okay? All right. See you on the next video.